on stage is me! We're gonna hear some comedy. How many I've done at other open mics? Alright. So good to see you. I tell you something that's gonna tell you a lot about me right here. Um, at about seven years of being married to my lovely partner, I looked her in the eye and I said, Hun, serious question. Am I circumcised? All the pictures of dicks I had seen were hard. I didn't know. Woo! That is a joke, that is fun. As it turns out, I am not. It is obvious, you can tell with your eyes. How many people out there like coffee? Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's right. I like coffee so much at some point in my life that I stopped being able to pee. Um, and when you stop being able to pee, you go to a urologist, as it turns out. It uh, turns out, 10 cups of coffee a day makes your prostate very angry. And I went to my urologist, and the man, the man that walks in has just, just the biggest John Smith, raise your hands. Hands like that. I'm like, maybe, maybe he just needs to talk to me. <laughs> and uh, he talks to me and he says, you know, how much, how much caffeine do you take? I'm like, 10 cups. He's like, Mmm, you're gonna need to stop drinking that much coffee. I was like, well, do I have another option? He's like, well, you can bend over and uh, pull down your pants and relax. And I was like, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so I do so. And the very first thing I think when he's in there checking out the business is, uh, oh, I get it. <laughs> if this wasn't a giant man, I might be into this. <laughs> But as it turns out, the second butt opinion still said that I could, had to stop drinking coffee, so that, that sucked. Um, but on my way out, I was like, hey, doctor, I would like to not have kids anymore at all. C could we take care of that? And uh, so one thing led to another. A few days, uh, a few weeks later, I'm in the same building uh, with a different doctor. Small, live, surgeonly hands. Um, uh, how many people out there have a vasectomy? <laughs> Ooh, no one. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, easier question. How many people out there have been to the dentist? <laughs> hey, fucking finally! I usually get three people that answer that. Okay. We, my mom, we take care of our teeth. All right. So I noticed that a vasectomy is the closest thing to going to the dentist that isn't the dentist that I've ever experienced. Uh, I'm in, I'm in the, the, on the table with my legs in the stirrups, like you do, and uh, I've got the plastic paper towel here blocking my view of my genitals, and the doctor, you know, Novocaine shot, scalpel, uh, he's pulling out the tubes, burning them, cauterizing, whatever the doctor word is for it, and he just looks at me, he's like, oh, so what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm like, web developer, he's like, oh, you Apple guy or PC guy, I can smell my own burning vast deference. <laughs> so, 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all it takes. Never have a kid again. I have spent longer than 15 minutes on Facebook, which even they could never have kids again. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Josh. So, everything's said and done. Uh, oh, fun fact did you know they super glue your nuts back together? I mean, I'm sure it's like Dr. Super Glue and not like the guy with the helmet or anything, but. <laughs> So they, 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 they do the super glue and they're like, all right, you're good to go, we're gonna leave, you can pull your pants up, and I look down, and all, on my gonads is a Snoopy in outer space band-aid. <laughs> I go, peanuts. <laughs> all right, how many people out there shower daily? Woo! Woo! Okay, all right, back of the room, the people who are too cool for the front of the room, they shower. Maybe that's why they're back there. <laughs> yeah, think about that. I realized today, this morning, that I, I shower in the same order every day. Uh, turn on the water uh, for 15 minutes, I think about every mistake I've ever made. <laughs> then, right armpit, right arm. Left armpit, left arm. Chest, gonads, butt. I have never washed my legs in my entire life. <laughs> There's a significant chance that my feet are dirtier than my butt right now. <laughs> so how many people out there have heard of Amazon.com? Yeah. Woo! Woo! How many people out there have heard of being drunk? Yeah. Woo! How many people have combined the two? Yeah. Woo! yeah, that's right. The last time I combined the two 
I purchased myself a $75 sex toy. <laughs> I went with Fleshlight because it's the brand they trust. Uh, but I might have been drunk, but I was not an uninformed consumer. I went to Fleshlight.com and I checked out my options. As it turns out, they had various models based on various models, various orifices. And uh, there's the Jessica, the Ariel, the Stoya, the Katsune, but no. No. The flower that caught my eye was the beautiful, the delicate, stamina training unit. <laughs> or stew, for short. <laughs> Write that down. Alright. <laughs> so, in two short days, the stamina training unit was mine. Amazon Prime, you know. It's for, it's for watching a transparent and getting sex toys to your house in two days. <laughs> so you might think, having a flashlight in your house, it's just easy access to, uh, to sex anytime. No, no, this is not the case. If you're considering courting the beautiful stamina training unit, you can't just reach in your bedside table drawer and throw it in there. That's not how it works. You need to use some romance. You need to draw her a bath. Set to a temperature of your choosing. You need to lie her in the bath for up to and including 15 minutes. When she is to a temperature of your liking, you take her out, you put her in her plastic tube, and you use a liberal amount of water-based lubricant. Now this is important. Use water-based lubricant, not silicone-based lubricant. I like to make eye contact with the crowd at this point because there's always somebody going... <laughs> that is the face of someone who's melted a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> so you've drawn her a bath, you've laid her in that bath, you've sang her a song, you've put her in the tube, you've filled her with lubricant, and then, now it is time to train. <laughs> now you might be asking yourself, Jeff, that's, which is a weird question to ask yourself, Jeff, <laughs> is it worth it? Is it worth $75? And I will let you know that those precious 38 seconds training of the same training unit <laughs> are some of the, just the most extremely okay seconds I've ever uh, experienced in my life. Just like the most eh, thing I've ever experienced. Because like there's nothing quite like a flashlight to remind you of how much sex isn't just the existence of a warm, looped up orifice. Like there's more to the whole thing. I usually get to laugh. <laughs> All right, fine. So, you're, you're done with your training regime, and it is, <laughs> and so you need to immediately clean out the uh, stamina training unit and let her air dry for six hours. Six hours. I heard someone go, oh, <laughs> that's correct. Now, I live with my partner and our child, and I am a human being, and I am not ashamed of our urges, my, our urges as human beings. But that does not mean I want to lie the carcass of those urges out for my family to see. <laughs> like a cat bringing a dead bird home. It's like, look family, I fucked this for you. <laughs> Maybe I'll be less anxious today. And so that's me. We're going to take a ten minute break and we'll be, meet you right back here.